Amen. You're welcome once again to Hour of Release with Pastor Love. Papala, God bless you. Amen. Let's give God thanks. Quality thanks. Father, we thank you because you are the creator of heaven and the earth. Lord, we thank you because it is in you that we move, live, and have our being. Lord, I thank you because unto you belong it, vengeance. Lord, we give you thanks, O oh God. You are the judge of the earth. You are the governor of all nations. We exalt your name in Jesus' wonderful, mighty, and powerful name we pray. Amen. Thank you for your favorite program, Hour of Release with Pastor Love Obala. Amen. Still on the series, Adversity and Divine Strength. Adversity and Divine Strength. Let's take this song. Is a hymn. Victory, victory, blessed blood brought victory. Victory, victory, victory all the time. And as Jehovah liveth, strength divine he giveth unto all who know him. Victory all the time. One more time. Victory, 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 blessed blood brought victory, 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 victory all the time, and as Jehovah liveth, strength divine he giveth unto all who know him, victory all the time. There is a victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Praise the Lord. Adversity and divine strength. Amen. Adversity. We have defined adversity in terms of adverse conditions, unfavorable conditions, harassing situations. <laughs> Amen. Uncompromising situations. Embarrassing situations, unfavorable situations, adversity. And then divine strength in the nutshell talks about the strength of the Almighty. By natural strength shall no one prevail. You need help. You need divine strength to enable you to cope in the day of adversity. Remember Proverbs 24 verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, Thy strength is more. So God expects you to be in charge. To be in charge. He expects you to be in charge of every situation. Because he always makes a way for you to come out of it. You cannot be caged there. If there's a way that leads into captivity. Sister, brother, there must be a way out. It's a lie of the devil. Some, even if you are small, go into a place, into a cage. That's captivity. That same way, you will be able to come out. Praise the Lord. Prophetically, the cracks on the wall of your life that made it easy for the spiritual reptiles to creep into the, your life will be mended today in the name of Jesus. Shout a powerful amen. Amen. When the edge is broken, serpent bites. Amen. Shall be mended today in the name of Jesus. What's about that make the enemy that makes the enemy to rejoice over you? shall be withdrawn today in the name of Jesus. The reasons presented by the enemy to be afflicting you has been withdrawn in the name of Jesus. Amen. The coalition of wicked forces, gang up of evil forces against your life, business, household, your health shall be shattered in the name of Jesus. The frustration of yesterday, your life shall soon be forgotten. For your ashes, God is giving you beauty this day. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name, for mighty name we pray. Zechariah 2, verse 5. For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. Praise the Lord. 
pray like this. Father, if you have a father, <laughs> if you have a father, you're sure you have a father. Almighty Father as your own God. You don't have anybody. If you are not, if you if you're a free thinker, you don't have anybody believing me. And then you are, you are left on your left on your, on your own. But for us that have Father, Almighty Father, scream out. Father, be a wall of fire round about them, my family. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say the joy of the enemy over my life and affliction must be withdrawn today. In the name of Jesus. The joy of the enemy over my life and my affliction must be withdrawn today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say bitter conspiracy against my existence. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name and mighty name we pray. Remember, you cast your blood upon the Lord. For what? He sustains you. Go whenever I suffer the righteous to be moved. Beloved, you have to call upon the Lord for me. I'll call upon the Lord. The Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. Evening and morning. Then I not noon will I pray. Then I cry aloud. He will hear my voice. For evening and morning and at noon will I pray. Then I cry aloud. For he will hear my voice. Oh Lord. He will hear my voice, oh Lord. He will hear my voice. He will hear your voice in Jesus' name. This song is found in Psalm 55, verses 16, 17, and 22. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, bless our God, you people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holded our soul in life, and suffer not our feet to be moved. You shall not be moved. Psalm 66 verses 8 to 9. Praise the Lord. Please, on your own, try and read this Judges 14 from verses 1 to 8. But I want to bring read some verses from there. Judges 14 verses 5, 6, 8, and 19. Then, then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath and behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he had rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Verse 8, And after a time he returned to take her, and he turned aside to see the carcass of the lion. And behold, there was a swarm of bees, and on in the carcass of the lion. And he took care of his hands, and went on eating, and came to his father and mother, and, gave, and he gave them. And they did eat. But he told not them that he had taken the honor out of the carcass of the lion. Praise the Lord. Verse 14. The radio. And he said unto them, Out of the eater came forth meat. Out of the strong came forth sweetness. Amen. They want somebody that will expand the radio where he wants to take a wife. He put a cross to them. Amen. The radio. Say so if you can declare what it is, the meaning, within the seven days of the feast. Amen. And then he will give them 30 sheets and 30 change of garments. If on the contrary, they should give something 30 sheets and 30 change of garments. So he put forth the riddle. What is the riddle? Out of the eater came forth meat. Out of the strong came sweetness. <laughs> Amen. The young lion roared against him. Beloved, the devil, as a roaring lion, moveth about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom you and I must, is the necessity, resist being steadfast in faith. Because having a shield of faith, you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Amen. The roaring lion against you could be fearful. That roaring of the lion could be fearful, could be intimidating, Amen. could breed anxiety, could breed loss of coordination. That is the plan of the enemy. But God has promised us, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver thee, said the Lord. 
And God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. That's 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. God did not give spirit of fear, but has given to what? Spirit of power. Spirit of power. Somebody shout power. Spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Amen. So God has given us spirit of power. Amen. By the help of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 59, verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood that the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him and put him to flight when the enemy comes sin <laughs> like a flood then the spirit of god as a matter of urgency and necessity lift up a standard against the enemy there's something about the spirit of the lord he came upon something emboldened him Energize him, move him into action, turn him to a victor. Something had been dealing with the enemies. And then at a point, he took the iron gate, he removed it, carried it, and went away. He remained victorious. Amen. He remained afloat. He was in charge of circumstances. All enemies subdued. The only time he recorded defeat in life was when the Spirit of God left him and he did not know. Amen. And that was when he recorded tragedy and defeat. You will not fail in Jesus' name. The Spirit of God will not leave us in the name of Jesus. Sammy says, take not your Holy Spirit from me. If that happens, you are finished. Praise the Lord. A similar scenario has to do with David. Prior to the confrontation with Goliath, the boasting enemy, he had been anointed in 1 Samuel 16 verse 13. And when he was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him. No wonder he dealt with Goliath, finished him. I decree every Goliath enemy boasting against our existence, against our health, against our career, against our finances, they shall be brought down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear this very well. For every assault of the enemy, for every harassment, for every abuse of the enemy, for every intimidation of the enemy, for every humiliation of the enemy, for every confrontation of the enemy, for every violent attack of the enemy, the Spirit of God will always lift up a standard against it. The Spirit of God has a, an important duty. What's that duty? Mesmerizing the enemy. Are you confronted by the boastful lion like enemy running against you as a child of God? Then be sure the Spirit of God made available to you. That you are sealed with the door of redemption, according to Ephesians 4.30. Amen. We make a way for you. You overcome in the name of Jesus. Are you battling with life-threatening circumstances? Be sure as you draw strength from within, because the of God indwells us, then you overcome that situation in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God knows how to call the enemy to signs. Amen. He, he sets a boundary that the enemy cannot cross. There, there's no cross. Cross. I promise as we will listen to this word, we will laugh last at the enemies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Out of the eater came forth meat. Out of the strong came forth sweeter. I come forth sweetness. Amen. Came forth sweetness. What is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? Amen. Beloved, out of the eater power that came to destroy turned out what meat out of the strong came from sweetness honey you got honey i declare upon you alive whatever be the face of the adversation you are passing through today receive the power of god let the inner strength fortification by the holy spirit of god that indwells you Will rise up to the challenge. Standard is already established, and the enemy shall be brought to their knees in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Spirit of God, Amen, is all that you need. I can assess the Spirit of God through His Word. He sent His Word, His Word, He let us and deliver us from all our destructions. That's wonderful. Psalm 103 verse 20, praise the Lord. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God. If the Spirit of God that raises us from the dead, that Spirit that raises us from the dead dwells in you, it 
quickens your mortal body and about the spirit of God. You have the strength to come out of that situation. You have still the strength to come out of that harassing situation in the name of Jesus. In case you are not listening to this message, how do you assess divine strength? By way of salvation, reading the word of God, having faith in the word of God, allowing the spirit of the world to enter you. And then you may not overcome throughout your lifetime in Jesus' wonderful and mighty name we pray. Amen. In case you want to turn your life to Jesus Christ, say after me, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. I am a sinner. Lord Jesus, cleanse me, make me clean. I accept into my life to be my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name we pray. I am born again. I am a new creature that has passed away. Everything has come me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name we mighty name we pray. If you have said this prayer, after the lockdown, in your own nation or in your own locality, identify with Bible living, living church. But for now, as long time continues in some areas, what do you do? Connect to life, blessing programs like this, and then go meet a part of like this, and also get Bible if you don't have, and start reading and go expand the scriptures to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray these prayers. God bless you. Whatever harassment, assault, oppression of the enemy in my life, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I overpower you and defeat you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say my captivity has been led captive in the name of Jesus. My captivity has been led captive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say monster of fear, which is the foreigner of adversity. Depart from me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Monster of fear. Act as the foreign of my problem. Depart from me today in the name of Jesus. Declare again I have uncommon victory. Testimony. For every adversation I'm passing through. Victory. Testimony is guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering me. In John of our mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for as you are saying amen to these prayers. You will testify to the grace of God and land of living in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a child of Most High God. Fear not. Enemies will not outwit you. In John of our mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. To meet again on this platform, remain in the loving bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember to comment, share, and also subscribe. I subscribe. God bless you in Jesus' name. For Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you.